Hi, my name is Billy Trimbo with Cisco Tech. Jabber can experience a number of issues when it comes to using the phone feature. Thankfully, there are many ways to capture data for tech engineers to troubleshoot these issues. Let's look at the steps to prepare and capture the logs for any issues you might have. First, go to the Cisco Unified Serviceability page on Communications Manager. Now, choose Trace, Configuration, Choose the Communications Manager Publisher, the CM Services Group, and finally, the Cisco Call Manager Service. Set the debug trace level to detailed, and most of the traces will already be checked. But make sure that we also have these highlighted options checked. Finally, check the option to apply to all nodes since we will need to obtain logs from every Communications Manager server. If we are configuring logs for a soft phone issue, nothing more is required here. But if this is for a desk phone issue, we will also need to enable logging for the Cisco CTI Manager service. This should already be set for detail level by default, but if not, make that change and select the Apply to All Nodes option to make sure that all nodes have that value. With the traces configured, we can now go to the Jabber client. Depending on the problem, we may want to download and install a packet capture program like Wireshark and start a packet capture both from the Communications Manager and the Jabber client side. However, most of what would be needed can be obtained from just the Jabber logs and the Communications Manager traces. For this example, let's see what we would do for both a registration issue and a calling issue. I'll exit Jabber and then start it again so the logs can collect for the SIP phone registration. We can see the progress here as the phone attempts to connect and register. It is important to note the time when this is occurring. Now let's place a call to a contact, but I will first note the calling number, which is the number I'm calling from, the called number, which is the number I'm calling to, and the time of the call. It is important to get the time of the incident as accurate as possible. It is also helpful to know the specific steps to reproduce the issue. So I'm going to note that the call will start at 6.50 in almost 20 seconds. Now I can create a problem report with these details. Next, we can collect the logs from the real-time monitoring tool. All we need is the Cisco Call Manager logs from all nodes in the cluster. If this is for a desk phone, then we'll also add the Cisco CTI Manager. And finally, if packet captures were collected, these can be found on the next page towards the bottom of the list. On the final page, we want to make sure that we get the time frame correct for the call. If you have just reproduced the issue, usually 10 to 15 minutes should do it. Once again, here is what will be uploaded to the case. The Jabber Problem Report. The Communications Manager logs, which are the Cisco Call Manager and the Cisco CTI Manager, if desk phone. As well as the following details. The registration time, the calling number, called number, the time of the call, and the steps to reproduce the issue. Now this is a lot of information to gather, but it will provide the TAC engineer all details necessary for troubleshooting most Jabber phone issues. Thank you for watching.